Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. In today's episode, we will configure a VPN server or Unify network. Since we are not having a static IP from the Internet Service Provider, we need to use Dynamic DNS service. In our case, we will use DIN DNS. So, let's navigate to DIN DNS web page, log in and go to services, DIN DNS hosts. Next, we will use the add new host name link in order to create a new dynamic DNS host name. Add host name, select domain, we will use dndns.org domain. Add the temporary IP address. Don't worry about the IP since it will be updated later automatically with the correct one. And press activate button. Now that we completed the dynamic DNS creation, we need to go to the Unify controller. Go to Settings and then to Gateway Dynamic DNS in order to configure the dynamic DNS we created in the previous step. Select the service Add the host name we created on previous step and use your credentials on DIN DNS as username and password. As server, we will use member.dindns.org and press done. As you can see, our dynamic DNS has been connected to the Unify controller. Now it's time to configure our VPN server. In order to do so, we need to go to VPN and then VPN servers. And press create new VPN server and select the advanced VPN. Add the name for the VPN server. Select L2 TP server. Use a pre shared key and then press auto generate in order to select a subnet that is not current under usage. Then press next. On the second step, we can set up name servers. We select to use manual and add to DNS servers and then press next. On the third step, we select the radius profile. Since we only have one, we select default. Our VPN server is almost ready. Now it's time to select the VLAN that we will connect our user from the VPN server. We go to local networks and see all the available VLANs. We will use the VLAN 10, which is the VLAN for the cameras. Now it's time to create the user for the radius. We go to Gateway, Radius, and then we select Create New User. We add the username, enter the password, enter the VLAN ID, select L2TP, and IPv4, and press Done. That's it, our user is ready. Since we have completed with all the configuration on the Unify controller, it's time to test our VPN server. We will use a macOS in order to test our VPN server. We go to settings and then to network and press the plus sign in order to create a new interface. As interface select the VPN and type L2TP and press create. Then we need to add the server address, which is the dynamic DNS host name we created on the first step. Next, we add the account name, which is the radius user, and then we press authentication settings. We add the password and the search key we created just before.
don't forget to go to Advanced and select the option Send All Traffic over VPN Connection. Now we are ready. We can just connect by pressing the Connect button. That's it, we are connected to the VPN server. As you can see, the assigned IP address is from the subnet we have selected during the creation of the VPN server. Now it's time to test our connection. We can go to the IP address of the DVR of the cameras. This is on the VLAN 10. We have access as it is expected. But let's see what will happen if we try to access another subnet. As you can see, we have access also here, although it is not under the subnet we have selected during the VPN creation. Now let's try to connect to the VPN server through our mobile phone. In order to do so, we go to Settings, General, and then VPN. Add new VPN configuration. Select L2TP, add a description, add the server by using the dynamic DIN DNS, Add the username, the password, and the secret key. And then press done. Now let's try to connect to the VPN, enable the option, and after some seconds we are connected. Now let's try to access the DVR of the IP cameras. We have access as it is expected. Now let's try to access a device which is on a different subnet. We have access also here. So please have in mind that although you have selected a specific VLAN, the VPN user has access to all VLANs. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it useful, please press like and consider subscribe. See you in the next episode.